What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another one of my videos. In today's video, guys, I'm gonna be discussing some favorite pieces in my wardrobe. Now, these are in no particular order, but these are just some of the pieces that I personally feel like I'll probably never sell, you know, either due to uh, a season or collection that I really liked from a designer or just from the versatility that this particular garment offers me in my wardrobe. So yeah, sit on tight. It's about five to seven pieces. Grab a drink and let's hop right into the video. Hopping right into the first piece, man. We have my head mainer for winter 2019 coat. Now, head mainer has been a designer that I, that's really been growing on me because I absolutely love his silhouettes, his proportion on clothes. It's just everything that I personally like when it comes to style and to clothing, like his last. Uh, collection, I think it was the fall winter 2021, I believe, with all the colors and like the, the earth tones. I really, really love that collection. And I feel like with Head Manor, it's just pieces that I can definitely see myself wearing for a long, long time. So this coat here, I haven't really gotten as much wear out of it as I would like to, but I generally feel like if I lived in a place like New York or um, London where I have to do a lot of walking, I'll probably wear this coat all the time. I love the color in this coat. The buttons look absolutely amazing. It is one of those coats that you could really wear with pretty much anything. You know, you can dress it up, you can dress it down. In this case here, I kind of dressed it up with just my sweatpants just to kind of showcase the coat and focus a little bit on the coat. Um, the buns look absolutely great. The oversize and the drop shoulders look insane. And it's quite oversized as well. Like I think I had gone a size up, like the biggest size that we had, and I actually ended up returning it and grabbing the smaller size. And this size here fits exactly how I personally like my coats to fit. Sometimes I do like slimmer, like fitted coats, but other times I kind of like oversized coats just so I'm able to kind of like layer, throw on a hoodie, throw on a vest, you know, and just play around with the silhouettes and like layer. As you guys know, I absolutely love layering. And this coat has really given me that space and that oversized look for me to be able to layer it quite a bit, you know, whether it's with my hoodies, my vests, it really goes with anything that I've pretty much layered it with. I also love the color, the sort of like dark green looks absolutely amazing with anything, whether it's like a nice pair of black trousers or sweats in this case. And I can also dress it up with like a pair of boots, a pair of derbies. So yeah, this is definitely one of those coats that Personally, for me, I could see myself wearing this for a long period of time because it just goes so well with where my style is at today, you know, and I also feel like in terms of like longevity, it could still be a coat that I could whip out every now and then and be so happy that I have it in my wardrobe. So yeah, that's it on the first piece. We're gonna hop right into the second one. So for outerwear number two, we have my Random Identities blazer. Now, I mean, you guys already know how I feel about this blazer, man. It is just such a beautiful blazer. It is so versatile. It is just one of those pieces that's just so easy to throw on and to wear with anything, absolutely anything. I've styled it with um, tank tops. I've styled it with my hoodies, you know. I've styled it with shorts. I've styled it with sweatpants, trousers. So for me, like this is really what I look forward to when it comes to purchasing certain garments. Like I've always said, I always try to find pieces that I can not only wear for a long period of time, but that are also versatile, that I can include with almost anything in my wardrobe. And this Random Identities blazer, this 80s blazer, has been an absolutely go-to for me. Uh, I've actually been trying to find a different colorway, like a dark gray or a gray blazer that sort of has the same silhouette and the same um, sort of design. You know, I haven't been able to find anything that's sort of like, in my budget that's not too expensive and this random identities blazer is gonna have to do for now i don't mind the fact that i wear this all the time and that i'm always showing it to you guys because for me that's really what clothes is about right it's about finding pieces that you know don't necessarily cost you an extreme amount you know but even if maybe they do you still manage to get a tremendous amount of wear out of them because that's really what clothes is about. You know, when you buy something, you wanna be able to wear it. You wanna be able to wear it with, with different things. So yeah, moving on to the trousers. 
I actually um, thought about like going through all of my trousers, but I was like, you know, this video would end up being too long. So for now, I'm just gonna give you guys two uh, trousers, well, actually a pair of jeans and a pair of sweatpants that I generally feel like I'll probably never sell these and these are probably some of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe. So to start off, we have my Lueva jeans. So the reason why I absolutely love these jeans is not only because the design is different, you know, it's Lueva, they, the fisherman jeans are really their sort of like signature design and I absolutely love that. And also I feel like it's not an easy sort of pair of jeans to pull off, you know. Um, a lot of the times, one of the things that I've also kind of liked about these jeans is the fact that they stand out so much and they look so different and so classy and so stylish and i've always just kind of enjoyed having whether it's one or two pieces in my wardrobe that i don't really need to do much else when i put them on and these waver jeans are absolutely that you know anytime i've styled them with my boots or my derbies they always stand out and they always look good with anything that i style them with so uh this would definitely be one of those pairs that i could definitely say I probably would never sell, you know, and I feel like even though I don't get that much wear out of it, you know, it's one of those pairs that, like I say, if I live in a bigger city where I'm constantly having to like sort of like commute or like walk around for long periods of time, I could definitely see myself rocking these a lot more often. Now, a lot of you have actually asked me how I get the white part of the jeans cleaned and I don't, you know, I've never had to get it cleaned. So I definitely don't know how you would go about it. But for me, I would always say like some of these pieces, I wear them, but I wear them for specific occasions. You know, I won't just throw on a pair of Lueva jeans just to go on a walk. You know, a lot of the times if I'm wearing these, I'm probably going out for dinner. I'm going to do something. I'm going to something fancy or something. So I'll tend to wear these. And a lot of the times it's not for long periods of time, you know, maybe two, three hours max. I would be wearing these jeans so they don't get that dirty you know uh, so i don't necessarily have i haven't had the need to get them cleaned uh but i would definitely say like you know what take them to a dry cleaner you know get them to sort of remove any stains that might be on the white part or whatever and it should be good so yeah second pair of trousers we have these sweatpants from hiroki the japanese designer now you guys again have seen these a million times I've styled them with so many different things and again for me this is one of those things that I would never get rid of because of the versatility that it's provided in my wardrobe you know it's the sweats are so different they're like and they're not like any other sweat and actually when I bought them here at a local boutique the guy that sold them um, to me and my boy Arvin actually told us that only about 10 or 15 were made right so and he managed to buy two of those pairs, actually three of those pairs, because he had a pair and then he sold us two pairs that were left and those were his last ones. So honestly, I feel like it was such a good find and there was sort of that history behind it. And the fact that I've tried to find this designer anywhere and haven't been lucky. So if anyone knows about the designer or knows where you can possibly find these sweatpants, please leave a comment down below because I've had so many people ask about these. So yeah. These sweatpants are definitely a go-to for me. I've, I wear them all the time. Even when I'm just chilling in the house, I tend to wear these. Or if I'm going for a walk, throw on a pair of sneakers, throw on these sweatpants, and I'm pretty much good to go. So yeah, these would definitely be a favorite of mine. They're simple, they're clean, nothing too fancy, but again, just one of those pieces that's so versatile. Like you can see here, I kind of style them with my random identities blazer, and they still kind of look good. You know, they don't look like your regular pair of sweatpants. So yeah. That's it on the bottom half. So the Lueve jeans and these sweatpants, we're gonna hop right into the final items, which will be shoes. So starting with the first pair of shoes, we have these Calvin Klein by Raph Simmons. I think this is from his spring summer 2018 or fall winter 2018. It's, it's either one of those two, but anyway, the reason why I would probably never sell this pair of shoes is just because Honestly, like Raph at CK probably made some of my favorite sort of pieces and garments uh, while he was there. And I feel like this pair of boots was one of the first pair of boots that for me, I kind of really, really love. The metal toe cap, the Cuban heel is amazing. The only thing that I kind of wished 
uh, he would have done is kind of made them like slightly longer, you know, um, not like sort of like, cause I know he had other ones that were like super long, like almost to the knee, but I kind of wish that these ones, I kind of wish that these ones on the, um, length here were kind of like just a little bit longer, kind of like my Bottega boots that I have. But other than that, these are still absolutely amazing. I've kept them in pretty decent condition, to be honest. You know, I haven't been wearing them. I haven't been wearing them that much uh, this past year, just because I've been wearing more of like my Bottega boots. But any, every now and then when I whip them out, I'm super happy to have these in my wardrobe. Long term wise, I could definitely see myself going back to them and wearing them with different things, whether it's like a nice flared pair of trousers or a nice cropped pair of uh, jeans. So yeah, um, these would definitely be one of those pieces that I would definitely say I'll probably never sell. And I loved the Raph CK era. I thought that the pieces that he was making were absolutely insane. So yeah, um, moving on to the last pair is these uh, Balenciaga derbies. Now, you guys know that these derbies, I've kind of been wearing them like honestly all the damn time uh, if you guys don't follow me on instagram make sure to check me out on instagram because i style these all the time all the time i wear these and to me they're just such a beautiful pair of derbies the reason why is because they are everything that i was sort of looking for in a pair of derbies so if there was one pair of derbies that i had to own for the rest of my life it would probably be this one because of the chunkiness the silhouette the croc on it, you know, the leather, everything just looks absolutely amazing on these. And I also love the fact that even though I've gotten so much wear out of them, they still look intact, you know, they still look great. There's like minor scratches here, but like, honestly, it looks great. You know, uh, for me, it's really just the detailing on the croc here that looks amazing. You kind of have the Balenciaga sort of like logo on the back here, which is kind of sick. So yeah, that's it on the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Are there any pieces that you guys feel like I would get rid of? And honestly, I didn't go through all my pieces because I have other pieces that I generally feel like, yes, I'll probably never get rid of this. So yeah, let me know if you would like to see part two of this video. Leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe as always and like the video if you enjoyed it. You can follow me on my Instagram as well where I post rigged outfit pictures, G-R-E-G-N-T-R-E. -E. The link will be down below. Thank you guys for watching as always. It is highly appreciated. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.